Hello, my name is Roger, and I would like to talk to you about why everything you know about cybersecurity is wrong. We're all told in today's world that we need a firewall. So the firewall is usually supplied by the ISP, and you connect to the internet, and off you go. You also need some sort of antivirus. Again, it's something that you can get free or you can buy from the, the local, the local uh, retail store and as long as you keep it up to date, it's supposed to protect you. And the last thing we hear about is patching. Now patching is what you do with your operating system or your, um, your applications and you notice that every time that the uh, computer starts or stops, it'll come up and say, would you like to install updates? Now, these three components are supposedly what's going to protect you from the big bad digital world. What a load of rubbish. And I mean that in no derogatory sense, but you need to do more. As a small business, you are a target for cyber criminals. As a small business, you have a lot of access to financial information, you have a lot of access to uh, user information, you have a lot of access to your own intellectual property. So it is very important that you have ways to protect yourself. Now we've already spoken about the technology, these components, but there's also other components. Your VPN, your wireless, um, your patch management, your antivirus, your firewalls, your uh, unified threat ma ma management components of your firewall so that you're, these components are doing just the minimum. They are making you the low-hanging fruit that the cyber criminals are going to target. And the cyber criminals are not the people you expect them to be. They are the 14-year-old who's hiding in his bedroom because mum and dad can't be bothered looking after him and making sure he's not doing anything wrong. And even if they did see what he was doing, they probably wouldn't understand it anyway. Now they're the type of people who are scanning the internet. They are scanning the digital world to find vulnerabilities to get into your system. So we have to make sure that we've got the right technology in place. But we also have to make sure that we have the right management in place. Now the management components are things like policies and procedures. What happens when um, someone uh, accesses the internet from your uh, system? Uh, are they allowed to? Are they allowed to go to a bank, uh, a, a bank site? Are they going, allowed to go to um, Facebook? Are they allowed to go to social media sites? All of that information comes down to a policy. And then you have the procedures. What procedures are you going to put in place to make sure that you are protected? What happens when someone brings in their own uh, device and wants to be able to connect it to your network? On top of this, the management components also have things like um, auditing, um, reporting, and training and education. It's no use putting a firewall in place if nobody else knows how to use it. You need education of your users as a whole to protect them from what not to do with a spam email, what to look for in a phishing email, what is the best way of managing that type of thing is all part of the management process. The third component we have to look at is the adaptability. What adaptability is your business able to handle? Is, has, have you done your risk analysis? Have you done your business continuity? Do you know if you're backing up and restoring correctly? Um, have you done a disaster recovery plan? Uh, what is the culture and resilience of the business? All of these things are not only for when you get hit by a cyclone or the CEO wins the lottery and walks out of the door, but they are also to make sure that um, if you have a, uh, a virus that you can backtrack and find out where it came in and what it was doing and why it was doing. And the last part of understanding cyber security is you've got a compliance component. Those compliance components are really critical to making sure that your business is safe and secure and is doing the right thing to protect all that information that you are now collecting in the digital world. Now we are all members of that digital world. Most businesses, everybody has an email address as a business. 
Because if you haven't, you're not going to get any work. So you have to go and embrace the digital world to a level where that becomes a part of your business model. So if you need to know what those components are and how they fit in with the security and business security, then please download the checklist that's on this page. By downloading that checklist, you can actually look at all of those features that are parts of these and this area to make sure that you have got a secure business environment. If you need any help after you've fin finished in, the, in the, the checklist, then please contact us on, on the information on the website. Thank you very much.